The invention of the standard definition video camera has allowed television broadcasters across the nation to capture the most precious of human experiences. But for one special student, standard definition video will not suffice. That student in question is our subject, Benji, who wants to send a special message to his college sweetheart, Cindy Lou. The problem is, in standard definition, Benji is dull, boring, and hardly visually appealing. But thanks to the advent of new high-definition recording technology, Benji appears more happy, visually stimulating, and true to life. And we owe it all to the Panasonic HVX200 high-definition high video, video camera. camera. Benji has set up his subject for recording, but it would appear that he is having trouble acquiring an image. Oh, Benji, every good camera person knows that the first step to recording is to open the lens cap. To open the lens cap, grip the camera firmly and remove the lens cap. Benji's footage appears shaky and unstable. Oh, Benji, to avoid causing motion sickness to the viewer, turn on optical image stabilization or consider using a tripod. Caution, the HVX is a special camera that requires a special tripod, currently unavailable at the college. Oh, Benji, it would appear that your battery has died. Let's learn how to change the battery on the HVX 200 and use the camera features to shoot in, in high, high definition. definition. To charge the battery, slide the battery into the charging unit. Connect the AC cord to an outlet. The charge light will go out once the battery is fully charged. A full charge will take approximately 330 minutes. With the arrow pointing toward the camera, slide it to the left until it locks into place. Check the battery level indicator on the LCD screen to ensure you will have sufficient power for your shoot. Ensure that the power switch is off. Hold down the battery release button and slide the battery out. To turn on the camera, move the power switch to the on position. The HVX200 uses two types of recordable media, P2 card and DV cassette tape. High definition recording is only possible on the P2 card thanks to its large capacity and high transfer rate. The camera comes equipped with two P2 cards of 8GB each which allow for up to 32 minutes of high definition footage per card. To select which media you will record onto, turn the camera off. On the back of the camera, change the media switch to select either P2 card or mini DV tape. To eject the P2 card, open the P2 slot. Press the eject button so it pops out. Press the eject button once more to pop out the P2 card. To insert a mini DV tape, open the tape deck and press the eject button located on the side of the camera. Insert the tape and close the tape deck. To white balance, switch to manual mode. Set the white balance switch to A or B depending on where you want to save the adjustment. Place a white pattern in a location with the same lighting conditions and light source as your subject. Be sure to zoom in, fill the whole screen with white. Finally, press the AWB button. To adjust your shutter speed, push the shutter button. And use the speed select plus and minus buttons to adjust the speed. Press the iris button to adjust the size of the aperture. Turn the iris dial to adjust the aperture of the lens. Zebra is used to check the brightness levels of your subject. Press the zebra button for the zebra pattern to appear. The ND filter is useful when you want to bring down the light levels. Use the ND filter switch to select an appropriate filter. Scene files are settings used for shooting in different circumstances. The camera comes preloaded with scene files for different shooting circumstances. You can connect an external microphone or audio equipment to channel 1 or channel 2. Depending on your audio source, select either line or mic. 
If you choose to use the camera's internal microphone, make sure channel 1 select and channel 2 select are both switched to INT left and right. You can adjust your audio levels on the back of the camera. And as Laurel Ann Hardy would say, always watch your levels on the meter. To record, press the red button located on the back of the camera or the handle. To zoom in or out on your subject, use the zoom button located on the side of the camera and on the top of the handle. T stands for telephoto, which means to zoom in. W stands for wide, meaning zoom out. To adjust the speed of your zoom, switch the zoom handle button to either 1, 2, or 3, 3 being the fastest. You may also want to zoom manually, in which case you can adjust the zoom ring located on the lens of the camera. To shoot with manual focus, change the focus switch to manual. Adjust the focus ring to bring the subject in focus. To play back your footage, select the proper media and press the mode button to enter playback mode. To navigate through your footage, use the panel on the top of the camera. To transfer directly to a computer, use the FireWire port. And so, by following these handy tips and having read the manual, Benji completed his video for Cindy Lou in, in high, high definition. definition! Wow, Benji, you look great in high def! Thanks, HD!